Entrepreneurship is total bullshit as we see it right now. Um, entrepreneurship is very much needed for every person and the entrepreneurial skills of um, coming through your life is so much needed for every single person. There's no uncle, no rich uncle out there who will help you. There's no um, organization out there who will make your dream come true. You need to do it yourself. So you need to, to be entrepreneurial. Um, if entrepreneurship is just limited to find investors and uh, make a fancy pitch, forget that fuck, man. <laughs> play better, play much better. I'm Philip Greyer and I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing with life, man. <laughs> I'm playing with life, yes. I'm right now um, very much involved with Playmakers Industries, which is a, a real life game development company. We design um, scenarios in real life using game mechanics, game elements to get uh, people involved, engaged and to tap into potential which they would not know that they have and we would like just to have more fun all around us um, and use our social capital that which is that is activated by interactions with other people. Playmakers Industries is a uh, um, right now it's the energy which is around me. Um, it's people coming in, people going out. It's um, a fluid network if we want to see it like that. Uh, there are, we are producing games, we are developing games, we are playing. We are playing what we want to play. We are choosing people who we think they are really interesting. They really We want to spend time with them. So. Let's play with them, let's find out what they are doing, let's help them to, to, to get their game going. And um, there's one game, for example, um, maybe I give you an example which is, makes it easier to understand. We are playing now with um, people in recovery from drug abuse, from alcohol uh, issues. And uh, we started this with a university in London, now York. and. Um, we started to create an environment where people use playful elements, playful mechanism in order to connect with other people. If you're in recovery, if you have like a really bad life experience because of alcohol or drugs, um, many people get depressions or like are, are very much isolated from society and they get anxiety, they get fear of being in crowded places and so on. So if they kind of have the feeling of being in a game or if they're really following a, a theme in a game, they, it, it was a, it's amazing what people are able to, to experience and how open people can go, can, can be. And this is what we're doing. We are really seeing whole life as a game and uh, are not afraid of experimenting things, of um, making mistakes because we are in a game. And by having this energy, people easily connect with us. And this is, we want to get other people playing. We want to play with people. That's Playmakers Industries. What I see is it's, there is a, a potential of what we are able to do to work together, what we are able to do together and where our ego and our mind is, is, is stepping in and asking, okay, what is my benefit out of that? So I think many people are, many people woke up over the last years. They are not following the old prayer times anymore, uh, but it's still, we are not very sure how we can imply the new paradigms. And many people are sensing ways of collaboration, co-working, you know, like this open space of in innovation. But we are not, um, there are m many people who are not really able to live with those new paradigms because our society is not, uh, it's just too, still too, too restricted. Ten years from now, you know, if we look for example at the startup scene, um, I think there will be a big crash when people realize that uh, it's about the meaning, the product, the value, what you're, what you're creating. It's not about uh, being good looking for an investor. It's not about having the best pitch. It's not about knowing most, the most people or the most number of people. It's about what value is in you. 
who are you? Um, what is really what you want to do in your life? And this, I think this is getting more and more uh, important in life since we are more interconnected with other people all around the world who have same values, same visions and we now can empower ourselves in this uh, through social media, through um, internet and uh, the te technology what we have right now. For me, what skills are important for for being successful, I think first of all it's resilience. Resilience in a way of um, sticking to you, what's your vision, to your inner calling, but at being um, able to adapt to the changing environment, to changing technologies, to, to changing societies. This is a very big one. I think it is a skill to has, have trust and faith in your life. Um, or if you see it as a skill and, 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 and uh, to have trust, it will be very important that we keep our trust and our confidence in what is going on in our life. And um, so those, those are the main things. And it's really skills that we are able to collaborate and that we are able to um, follow others, not only lead and, and, and start some, things new, some new things, but really um, be able to contribute with our own skills, with our limited skills that we have and which are so magical and so powerful. And if we are focusing on that, then it's, it's becoming a greater impact for, for the whole society. From my own experience, what taught me about this was it's it's a day by day learning process to be, be very honest. Um, many things that I thought that I know, I learned tomorrow that I, I will learn tomorrow that no, I didn't really get the whole thing. Um, there were some tipping points in my life. The first one was coming naturally when I was 20. And I enjoyed two years without having any worries and without having really negative energy. It was I was following my dreams. I was playing around. I met amazing people. I, I really had a lot of fun in my life. And after surgery, I lost this feeling, and I was permanently on on search for that. Um, another tipping point was two years ago. And after that, I really f tried to follow this society and oh, everything what, what comes towards me and like um, adapt and, and like uh, make it best as what other people expected. Two years from now, or uh, two years ago, there was um, another point where we were starting up a company called Playmakers Industries. And um, in the middle of the night I had the, the big sensation that I had to go to Brazil. And you know, without those expectations of your partners and um, everybody is, so you start something new and you should really follow it. I was like, yeah, but I want to do it my way. I want to do it in a way that I also can go to Brazil if I need to. And it doesn't mean that I'm starting a company and um, follow the whole stream of, okay, you need an investor, you need to find, um, a good structure you have a, and you need a business model which is working but you just really follow what your heart is telling you and by doing that the, all, the other things will come so this was like the big insight I had two years ago and I didn't know it at that time I didn't see it clearly but I was really like okay I, I'm sorry I can't start this company I'm just by being here I really want to go to Brazil and um, I did it, I managed it, it was not easy, it was very frustrating over the last two years as well because it was not going as fast as many other people would like to see it, as I would like to see it to pay my bills. But in the end it's, um, it fulfilled me with happiness, meeting the right people, meeting the people I want to know, uh, following the dreams I want to, I, I really have, um, starting the projects I'm really interested in, I'm, I'm doing stuff, what I'm investing my money actually, not and I'm not getting paid, but it's good because it's really fulfilling. And um, I know 
there will be another dipping point uh, coming I see it coming soon because there's this kind of flaw of attraction what you really put into you will get out as a return and this really keeps me going also in, in hard times I was never good at school I was always told like I, that's actually it's not true I've been very good at school the first years like the first eight years in the standard school I went to a normal school I went to a primary school and then gymnasium a gymnasium which is kind of a high school and then I went to um, university studying business um, I graduated, graduated from all the schools but I was never interested in school. Um, in my primary school I had one amazing teacher uh, who prepared me <laughs> for the next four years. It was the last year in, in primary school and I, to be honest, I've never learned how to, to learn informative stuff. Um, so what I experienced was that I have a huge potential of learning, which was never, um, which was never seen at school. Um, I didn't like to be um, isolated on a chair, and like uh, I didn't like to to have this structure. Like uh, it was not playful. It was not. I, every time I went out from school, I went immediately doing sports. So. What I learned was like I enjoyed the whole community in schools. So I enjoyed the classes. I enjoyed people around me, the kids and and the teachers. I always had good good relationship to all of them. But I was not able to sit down and learn. And this was always what was expected from me. Um, when I came to so I always had troubles in the last years of, of high school. Uh, when I came to university, I studied something which I didn't know why I chose it actually because all around me, my whole environment, everybody around me um, did not have anything to do with business. I had the feeling I had to become a, a manager, I don't know why. Anyway, um, when, I start, when I started to study business, I, choose the, I chose the things which I liked most, like marketing, like human resources, like the fun stuff. After the first year, everything like this well, I already took. So I had to, st to start the things like uh, accounting, um, financial, I don't know. I even can't remember, to be very honest right now. Um, and at that time I decided, okay, I'm doing education outside of university. I made a lot of coaching trainings, a lot of education. As a, I made a clown courses. I enrolled in a second major which was sports science because people were like in touch with each other. We were really like we had body contact. We were like going on field trips together. Uh, we were it was just a more relaxed way of, of learning and, and it was an informal learning. And um, actually I would not have graduated from uh, from university and I didn't intend to you know, uh, graduate from university. But what happened was that um, at the time when I went to the United States for an exchange year, which I actually did not, I would not have been able to apply for that um, or able to, to, do, to do it actually, um, they changed the system in, in, in Austria and we had a total reformation and in the end they were really happy if people just transformed their studies. So I would I studied business and I had maybe, I made two or three bookings in my whole studies. And if not everything would have occurred like that, I would not, I'm, I would not be sure if I would have a degree. And looking back now, I'm actually, <laughs> it would have been interesting if I would not have a, a, a university degree because then my path would be much wider and much more open. Um, and so I still have this kind of stigma right now. Yes, you have a degree in university, you know what business is, uh, is about. And actually I don't. I don't. I, I know what it is to meet people, I know what it is to, to play with people, to have fun and to really enjoy and create energy. 
but I don't know how to run an organization. I don't know how to make a booking, uh, an accounting. I don't know. I don't, and actually, I'm not interested in that. And so, to summarize everything that I said, school prepared me in a way that I learned to go around it. In primary school and high school, I was doing sports, playing in, in sports clubs and so on. At the university, again, I was traveling a lot. I was um, having another major sports, <coughs> which I didn't uh, finish. And it prepared me in a way that I accept the system as it is, but I see systems right now and, and I see the potential what I want to step in, not what they ask me to do or not what I'm expected to, to graduate. Um, first of all, I think we don't need schools. I think right now I'm, we are at the point where we... Schools should be like summer camp, I don't know, I think somebody really important said this once and I think this is like, that's like it. Um, for me, business should be a learning process. If we accept that we don't have a, a, a ready product and that we don't uh, know the end, what's coming out, but everybody agrees on, on working towards that and somebody is putting in money, somebody is putting in ideas, um, this is how we can solve issues like uh, the hunger issue, the issue for, about pro uh, poverty, poverty, because nobody um, isolated as a single person, as a single organization knows that. We need to learn to go into a field, to go into a, a space where nobody knows what the rules are, where nobody knows what the outcome will be. But we should have the strength as human beings to stay together and to trust each other. Um, and so for me, this is what we should do in a society. We should see everything as a learning process. And so, coming back to your question, what should do schools differently? We should get more involved with, with the reality, with real life. We should um, have the opportunity of using technology, social media, of um, finding the right people to learn from. Uh, we should like uh, invite kids to talk about uh, their ideas about solving our issues about poverty. We should um, engage kids to follow their dream and you know this is very much very very needed that we don't lose um, our visions as kids that we don't uh, feel that we don't feel that we have less value just because we're not good in mathematics in, 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 in German or in, in a subjects in English or in subjects which are like so important for our society right now. We all have a, a change in our paradigms in society and we should reflect this in school as well or we should have kind of a, um, a very open discussion about this and a very open uh, creation of new ways of learning.